what I'd like to show you is how to take the generated 3D line, which was brought information in from the PIN ID, how to get that 3D information over into a piping isometric, which is here shown on the, the ribbon. Okay, so the, the first thing we need to do is, is look at the line itself. Now, as you can see, we've got the line there routed within line items. We've got two valves shown on line. Um, but one thing that is missing is uh, some piping supports. So let's just go and create some pipe supports for that line. Um, so let's say we want to put a pipe support onto this line. And you can see the system is pre-populated with um, all sorts of standard supports that we should be used in industry so let's first let's pick a standard pipe guide you can see there you can change the dimensions to suit uh, specific um, information that comes from catalogs and uh, manufacturers so let's just uh, insert a guide and we'll insert that uh, let's say we'll insert it on that point there let's just rotate it to suit so you can see there we've now put a guide onto that pipe and let's just put a let's put a hanger into here. So let's go create, pick the the line again. This time let's go into hangers and let's put a spring hanger onto the line again. Let's just take the default settings while it's for demonstration purposes and let's place the spring hanger in like so. So you can see now that has been placed onto the system as well. Okay, so the, the isometric functionality, there's two types of main isometrics, there's production isometrics and quick isometrics. Quick isometrics can be used to pass information around the design team, whereas production ISOs will be sent out when you're sending it over to uh, to manufacturers because it'll have uh, defined spool pieces, shop and field wells will be defined on there and things like that. So let's just do a quick isometric and we want to do it of this line by the line number and we want to do it of that line which was 9999 which has been brought through from our P and ID. Okay so if we now select next you'll see within the quick ISO we've now got three options of what type of quick ISO we want to produce whether it's a, a quick checking ISO, a final ISO because it'll have some of the, uh, the termination points east and northings and the, the bill of uh, materials on there or a quick stress ISO which can be sent over to the stress analysis team. So let's just say we want to do a, a final uh, type isometric and let's just go and create, we can also create a DWF at this point if need be, but let's just create a DWG isometric off into the system. While that's going off and creating, um, you'll know it's finished by the dialog box when it pops up here and it'll say that isometric is complete. Just check there's no errors um, and then what you can do is just click for details and see what's happened and then we can go and view the isometric based on that line. So you can see there it's got where it's connected from, so it's the T100 vessel, east in northings and elevations. It's got the flange details and you can see it's got the gaskets gasket uh, item 9 and the bolt set also assigned to it the set itself is fully dimensioned um, the items uh, item 1 item 2 is the 45 degree elbow there the 90 degree elbow is number 3 we'll come down and we can see that we've got our guide support uh, dimensioned and positioned there's our other valve and the spring support hanger that we put in there and the uh, the ball valve we put in another set, and then finally the connection over to the uh, the heat exchanger and the eastern northern elevation of that point. More importantly, over here now we do have the full uh, bill of materials, so you can see the pipe. Uh, you can see what length of pipes required on the job, the full spec of the pipe that's being used, uh, and the fittings and flanges and valves that are used on the system. So this can be sent off for estimating purposes or for to the manufacturer, so we know what uh, quantities he needs to uh, order in to uh, install on site, etc. The supports are defined, gasket and number of bolts that are required for that line as well. The sheet it's brought in it can be fully customizable to suit. So you can see this has been generated with no input from myself uh, and all the dimensions fully legible, uh, all tagged up and everything ready to go off to the, uh, the next stage in the design process.